Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again as we are on the road to Famniversary. I'm your lovely, ever so loving commentator, Norman Rhodes, and that is a very big guy that I look kind of scared of. I'm hearing that his name is Johnny Nightmare. And if we go through the past right now, hell, Roberto, get to this point. Uh, you know, last time we saw Roberto, he he beat up a guy named Kellen Vega. You know, easy, easy pickings right there, right? But, but now he has this guy in this, like, green and black tights that looks kind of dangerous. I don't know if he actually is, but I guess we'll find out in just a few seconds as we await our reigning, defending hardcore champion. Look at that man right there. Look at him. The man personifies everything about hardcore that you could ever think of. Look at the, the scars and bruises and marks and everything. That's on Roberto. The living, walking personification of hardcore and FAM. And there is nobody in the history that, that can defeat this man, not even Johnny Nightmare. I don't even think Johnny Nightmare will, will even sniff his boot in the end of it. I, I, I don't know. It, it's just, look at, just, just take it in, man. Take it in. from Kellen Vega to Johnny Nightmare and right now this hardcore championship once again on the on the line here and there you see Johnny Nightmare we're gonna see if his hand or his fist is raised at the end of the match and there you see Roberto the living personification of hardcore and FAM. What a brutal man he is. And just looking up here at the ring, by the way, these two behemoth of men almost look like they're about the same height. A lot of muscle mass on Johnny though. And here we go, oh my God! Just that quick. You know what? He might be as big as Roberto. He might be a little buffer than Roberto. Oh, actually, I think he might be a little taller. Oh, my God. By the way, that, that kick. I believe we've seen that kick before. We saw it last time. One, two, three. Easy pickings for Roberto. I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand times. There is nobody in FAM that will beat the living personification of hardcore and Roberto. Wait, oh, wait, what's going on? Whoa. Whoa. I don't wait. I, I don't think that's Pandorino coming down here, is it? I don't think that's him. If it is, he's, he's signing a death wish right now. Oh, Jesus. No, I, I don't think that's... I don't think that was... I don't think that's Pandorino at all. Oh, my God! Maybe that was Dylan Evans, but that is definitely Pandorino right there. Someone get him. Get him. But never mind, Roberto, ever so resilient, my God, ever so powerful. Dylan Evans tried to make his way down here, tried to provide a distraction 
for Pandorino to get into to position, but it doesn't work out for him. It absolutely doesn't work out for him. This is the price you pay when you mess with Roberto. Screw it. I'm not even going to give you the help of your foolish friend here when you feast the skill foundation. Because not only is the match now a 2-1-1 handicap match, but Dylan is also banned from ringside. Good! 2-1-1 handicap match. Pandorino just dug himself into a deeper ditch than he was ever in before.